Here's an absolutely essential tip that you must know about when texture painting your objects. And it's to do with avoiding bleed in your seams. So I've got this sword here ready for texture painting. It's got a texture on it, sword color, and you can see it's unwrapped over here. I've got a nice island margin, and it's also known as texture padding, and that's the distance between our islands. This is the first thing that's very important, and you must make sure you've got a good distance between your islands when you're texture painting so that the color from one island doesn't spill or bleed onto another one. And then you start to see where your seams are in your games and things like that. Now I'm using a 2K texture, so I have to have a pixel margin of 16. And that's the recommended distance because 2K textures generally get reduced and when they're reduced, that margin shrinks and you're more likely to get bleed. I put on the screen now the suggested distance for each texture size, but generally when painting, you paint at 2K and then if you need to, you reduce it down afterwards. It's much easier to paint with that bigger resolution rather than painting on something with less pixels. Now the second thing is, let's say I'll go to block in my colors, so I'll go to edit mode and choose some faces, three to go to face mode, select these faces here, control box select to get rid of those. So I've got my selection there and I want to block fill that in with a color. Back to texture paint mode and choose the fill brush. So let's say this is going to be some sort of dark metal. So I change my brush down to here, I choose my paint mask button here and fill that section in. Now let's have a quick look at our islands there. Yes, they're all nicely filled in, but let's have a look at the bleed over the edge. It's really tiny. Therefore, when we reduce this down, we've got a chance that this fill color here will actually bleed into this island here when these pixels start to be merged together when we reduce them. So it's essential that we increase this bleed or this distance going outwards away from our islands before we start painting. Now you can do this afterwards, but it's so much easier if you do it before. We can change this bleed here by scrolling down to the options. You can also find the options at the top here, find middle mouse button and bring them across. You can find the options here as well. But under the options here, we've got two pixels. We'll set that to 16. Now if I fill, you can see it's filled in 16 pixels, which is a lot safer for reducing my texture later on and not having my seams showing. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.